Hello Swapper Shoppers, I'm your Swapper Shopper. Today we have probably the most requested episode by a singular person I've ever encountered so far. We have got Professor Peppy Zero Sugar versus Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Apparently this is a really close match. Someone has requested this time and time again. I finally found a zero version of the Dr. Pepper because not everywhere sells it. I'm gonna put them to the test. These are freezing cold because it's freezing cold outside, so they've not been in the fridge, but they're cold enough to the touch where I think we'll get a good accurate result from this. Let's go. So I've got two glasses and I'm gonna see which one is better. So I'm gonna pour out about half a glass because I don't wanna waste it because I've already been testing a lot of other things today. So this is the Aldi version, which is Professor Peppy Zero Sugar compared to the Dr. Pepper. Apparently you can't really tell the difference. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna do about half a glass. Okay. And zero Dr. Pepper. Now, you guys in the comments down below, let me know, have you tried this Aldi version? Put it in the comments what your prediction's gonna be as to whether or not you think I would actually go and buy this Aldi version, because I do like Dr. Pepper. But a caveat, I don't usually like Dr. Pepper Zero. There's something about it, I just, it doesn't taste right. It's missing the sugar. Usually Coke, Pepsi and all the rest of it, I don't mind Zero Sugar or diet versions. But with Dr. Pepper, I always go for the full sugar one because it's just a whole different level, I feel. But we're gonna give it a try. Okay. Now, I could have done a blind taste test. However, I didn't see the point in this episode. Now, the reason being is because you can't get a full sugar version of this one, but you can with the Dr. Pepper, of course. Now, most people these days still drink the full sugar drinks. I don't really drink full sugar drinks apart from Dr. Pepper, like I say. So if I was going to suggest this one over normal Dr. Pepper, if I was to swap this out for the normal Dr. Pepper, which most people would drink, I feel like everyone would prefer the one with the sugar because of course it's more sugary and you know everyone just prefers it. Now I know what Dr. Pepper Zero tastes like so I'm going to try the Professor Peppy first. Here we go. Oh, it smells of very cherry. It smells, oh, okay. Hmm, that, that has something in it which is obviously unique to the Dr. Pepper recipe that isn't in that for obvious reasons. I didn't think you'd be able to spot it straight away, but you can. Don't know what it is though. This just tastes, uh, sorry, this just smells like, this just smells like cherry aid, but looks like Coke. Mm, interesting. Ooh. Hmm, it tastes very strong of cherry. I could have mistaken that for a cherry aid mixed with Coke, you know, like one of the, the Coke cherry ones. Mm hmm. Whatever it is in Dr. Pepper that makes it taste different, I can definitely tell that it's in the Dr. Pepper. This just tastes of Coke cherry or like a Pepsi cherry or whatever the cherry one that they do is these days. Interesting. Now obviously it just says carbonated fruit flavor soft drink with sweeteners. I think they've overdone it on the cherry personally. And again, obviously you don't know what's in Dr. Pepper because obviously that's part of the recipe, but. The more I smell, the more, I can see where they're coming from with the Professor Pepe. Mmm, just tastes like cherry aid, but with coke instead, like a, like I say, a cherry coke. Mmm, I'm not as fond. I know the person is going to be very disappointed, Lewis, that you're not having this one recommended necessarily. But again, the goal is whether I swap. Now, Dr. Pepper. They're usually like two or two or three pound a bottle usually, aren't they? I believe this was something in the realm of between 50p and a pound or something. 
So I guess, again, the idea is, do you swap it? Could you get used to the cherry flavor or would you miss the Dr. Pepper? Nah, I'm sorry, I have to stick with the Dr. Pepper. And that's unlike me because normally I would say, of course, this is cheaper, it tastes close enough, you may as well just get this. And absolutely, if you're a family on a budget, I would 100% recommend this Professor Pepe. But don't buy it assuming that it's gonna taste exactly like Dr. Pepper, because it doesn't. If I put this Professor Pepe Zero Sugar against the actual Dr. Pepper with sugar, honestly, it'd be night and day. Honestly, I would probably never recommend this one. For the Zero versions, it's close enough where you could probably get away with it, and maybe some people wouldn't notice if you told them it was Dr. Pepper. I personally would, because I love Dr. Pepper, but I don't know, it's close enough, but not close enough where I'd physically swap it myself. Now, I will still drink and enjoy it, because it is nice. And, of course, I don't want any food waste. But, there's something about Dr. Pepper. Whatever they put in it, their secret ingredient, of course, you just can't mimic it. You can try and, try and get as close as you can, but it's just not the same. So, winner on this occasion, unfortunately, has to be the Dr. Pepper Zero. Very, very close second Professor Pepe though. Now, this was a long anticipated video for this person in question, Lewis. And I wanna know what your opinion is down in the comments. Now, for anyone who has watched the channel so far and has never commented, I want you to start commenting. The reason being is that I do these videos for you guys to have a taste comparison to see before you buy something, is it worth it? You see something on the supermarket shelf, you wonder, is that gonna be good? Is that a close representation to the official brand? I'm here to let you know, but I'm also here to try things a little bit different, try and find some snacks that you might not have th thought of or that you might not have seen before, and I'm gonna put them to the test as well. Now, my next product is something that you may have seen walking around when uh, you're going through Aldi, but you've probably never had it because it's probably one of those products where you've just always gone for the chocolate or something instead, but I think this is a really great healthy alternative snack. Stick around for the next video and you'll find out what it is. Make sure to subscribe by hitting the button down below.